Uh, but for now, let's talk to David Dunn, who's a professor of international politics at the University of Birmingham. Uh, great to speak to you, David. Uh, so why is it proving so difficult uh, to get a new House Speaker? What have the stumbling blocks been? Well, the main stumbling block is that the Republicans in the House have a tiny majority. But in fact, that, that they haven't really got a majority because there are large numbers of Republicans who won't support moderate candidates from the mainstream Republican Party to, to be speaker. So what you have is maybe a group of 8 to 20 ultra-conservatives who are effectively vetoing uh, the election of a moderate speaker in the hope that they can force their own candidates uh, into that position and therefore pursue a hardline agenda as possible. Well, while this is undecided, of course, uh, the government uh, can't go about its business, which have, has implications inside the U.S., but also uh, abroad, too, with pledges for funding for the Middle East and Ukraine, for example, uh, completely at a standstill. Absolutely. So the way in which the U.S. Constitution works, you need a speaker who is effectively like the prime minister in the U.K., the leader of pushing through legislation. And so there's nothing being passed at all. And crucially, uh, until we have a new speaker, the, the government is likely to shut down in six weeks unless we get progress there, and no funding bills can be passed. So we have a situation where President Biden went on TV uh, and called for public support for an aid package to Ukraine, to Israel, for the, for the Palestinians, for, for economic aid as well as military aid. But that package will not be approved unless we get a speaker, unless we get a speaker who actually will be supportive of those measures. And it's not clear that if someone like Jim Jordan uh, got elected speaker, that they would be supportive of a package that was giving aid to Ukraine because he uh, is aligned with Donald Trump, who are much more skeptical of the question of giving aid to Ukraine. So what we have is American government paralyzed, the direction of American foreign policy potentially compromised or certainly made difficult by this current impasse. So this can't be uh, looking good at home either with, a, with an election in the offing. How does this uh, stalemate play out domestically? Well, the, uh, historically, and there have been many shutdowns in America, the party that brings down a government shutdown or actually creates paralysis in Congress gets punished uh, at the electorate uh, in the elections that come. But we're more than a year away from the, from the election, so there's, there's good opportunity for things to be forgotten or to... Uh, other issues to intrude on the agenda and change people's minds. But certainly this is massively unpopular. But it makes all American politics look unpopular and, and make uh, it seem chaotic. Uh, so whether it's the Republicans or incumbents in general uh, that gets punished as a consequence of this remains to be seen. But it also depends on how long this lasts. If this, thing, this, this impasse can be overcome and a moderate uh, speaker elected who has popular support then we may move forward from this. But there doesn't seem any prospect of this just now. In over 200 years, we haven't had as long an impasse as this 16 day period without the Speaker, and therefore without the ability to pass laws through Congress. David, good to talk to you. Thank you for joining us. That's Professor David Dunn from the University of Birmingham.